Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday the 24th of August 2020. I am Aching Brain, I will be your host. We are going to go through uh, our high priority initiatives and our other initiatives and then questions and design reviews and all that fun stuff. Um, so the first thing to talk about is upcoming and shipped releases. Who can talk about that? Uh, yeah, so GodFS 0.7 is almost there. Um, all of the features are basically in. Uh, there's just uh, one or two bugs that we are running up against before uh, we put together the RC. So hopefully early this week, meaning the next couple of days. Yep. And then JSLipidP 0.29, uh, we're working on the final bits for that. So that will include uh, uint8 array support across the board. And then uh, we'll also include gossip sub 1v1 along with signed peer records. So hopefully we should have that, um, I'd imagine, maybe, maybe midweek. Uh, JSIPFS 0.50 will be released shortly after that. It's basically, yeah, it's waiting on the, the LPTP release uh, and it will contain the uh, pinning refactor. So storing pins in the data store for much speed and great benefit. Uh, yep, so next up is uh, pinning services. Yeah, the client work for Go is still pending um, the RC finishing up, and we can move over to working on that. Oh, I think there has been, I don't know if it's going to happen, um, but there's been some discussion about um, Hector might have some time to add um, API support in cluster, but that is TBD and do not count on it. Uh, the ED25519 default key is, is merged. All the things are merged. Yeah, they pass all the tests and everything. It's great. There is a, uh, as part of that, we found there was an issue last week and um, JSIPFS that we found with inline keys, like IPNS was not handling that properly. Um, that has subsequently been fixed. Um, but it's currently in master and JSIPFS in an 0.49.1 RC. So I imagine that will just land in 0.50 probably later this week. Yeah, we also have to still release, we'll probably do this when we do the IPFS release, but the HTTP clients and stuff that we'll need to handle the, because we've both switched to elliptic curve keys and sort of at the same time switched IPNS's default representation to base 36 CIDs. Um, so making sure that, that, uh, that all the code for handling all that in the HTTP APIs, or at least the Go HTTP APIs is done. Um, but we need to do the release for those. Is it, um, is it worth doing a patch release of JSIPFS with the um, IPNS key validation? Yes, also because it has the fix for the JSIPFS utils, which breaks PubSub, so we should we should do that. Yeah, the um, like the only time you'd see PubSub break is if you built your own version of uh, the browser node from source, uh, because mm -hmm. the 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 change went in after um, we'd done the last release. So the minified version doesn't have the broken uh, utils in it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I mean, if if cutting that release is uh, quick, I would just go for it um, just because like IPNS was also doing some nasty things when trying to do resolve, uh, which make things slow. So this will also help speed that up. It's like the same patch that uh, Go made to remove trying to fetch the public key before you actually fetch the record um, if you didn't already have it, which just made things unnecessarily slow due to legacy reasons, but we don't need that anymore. So resolution should be faster. Cool, I'll show that before um, merging the pinning stuff and you and areas and that. Cool, all right, moving on. Seco removal. We're removing it. 
Yeah, it's yeah removed in IPFS or d disabled in IPFS. Lipid P defaults for removing it. Yes, and I believe like there's work. So we're updating the daemons because we run um, a few of the relays that IPFS uses. We'll also be updating those um, to remove SecIO as well. Uh, should we? Do, are we going to do two Go to P2P releases this week, or are we going to try and bundle them up and just do them together? I don't think we need to do a second one, right? We just need to do the one that you're working on. Well, yeah, I just need to know if there's anything else required for merging the SecIO removal PR. Or just do it. Yeah, I think we can just do that because, yeah, I think it might already been merged. Actually, oh, okay. All right. If, if cool. not, then yeah, it should be mergeable, um, and then we can do a minor release. So that's already been notified. People have been notified on Discuss. Um, so you can still re-enable it and bring your own config if you need to, um, but by default, we will not ship with it. Uh, I guess related to the elliptic curve keys, one more thing, uh, or not quite, but um, Go Multi Adder has support for CIDs. Um, in PRIDs, or PRIDs represented as CIDs. So that means that if you get a multi-adder that has like, you know, slash P2P slash Baffy something in it, that will work. Um, we will eventually try to move all of the P2P multi-adder resolution this way, but uh, not everyone has the CID code yet in all of the different implementations, so this will take longer. Okay, moving on, the Rust IPFS initiative. Yeah, thanks. Um, we are working towards pinning. We're hoping to get that in within the next week, maybe the next two weeks. Um, so that just involved a lot of uh, refactoring, but also getting a DHT working as well. So that's a lot of nice uh, conformance tests that are passing. Um, and uh, DHT content discovery works really well, but publishing uh, is tricky because there's no auto NAT stuff in uh, the Rust lib P2P implementation. Uh, I noticed that there's a couple pull requests that are in there, um, so maybe those need to get reviewed. I don't know if anybody has any uh, inroads to parity, uh, nudge them on that stuff and we'll be able to publish content on the uh, DHT. Um, Otherwise, uh, things are things are moving along. Cool. Uh, next up is lib P2P uh, sign peer records and gossip sub v1.1 in JavaScript. Yeah. So uh, the pub sub interface uh, is basically ready. Uh, it was mostly finished last week, and uh, Jacob did uh, uh, enormous uh, review last week and uh, second pass today. So I think we are mostly ready for uh, merging it. The flood sub uh, PR is also update, uh, updating uh, the implementation to use this interface. It seems also ready and reviewed, and uh, exactly the same for uh, gossip sub. So we have basically one thing to finish uh, in gossip sub 1.1. Uh, basically, we have a flaky test uh, regarding opportunistic grafting, and uh, I will be looking into it later today. And hopefully, uh, if I get it fixed, I think it's the only blocker left so that we can start uh, merging and releasing everything unless uh, any last minute uh, review stuff happens. And yeah, also, uh, I tested it uh, in both Suggest P2P and JSAPFS. In the uh, uh, JSLIP P2P, we are basically uh, running the interrupt tests with an older version of Golip P2P while we don't have the daemon updated. So we are basically running JSLIP uh, uh, P2P with Gossip Sub 1.1 and Golip P2P when, with uh, uh, Gossip Sub 1.0. And everything is good, which is also a good sign, but it would be cool to test with the Gossip Sub 1.1. But then I tested in JSAPFS, uh, which uh, currently tests with the latest uh, Go IPFS, and this one is already using Gossip 1.1, and the interrupt tests are working as well. So yeah, I think uh, we are pretty confident that everything is cool in interrupt uh, part of things. 
Uh, going to the next uh, item, the Jet Improved Discoverability and Connectivity. I have no update this week, but uh, once this uh, uh, PubSub stuff happens, I will immediately pick this up. So yeah, uh, next week I will for sure have updates on that. Well, I think a lot of the, at least the Go IP, Go IP 0.10.3, um, I think that got merged into libp 2 um, but we'll need the, the latest changes. But I think that that will at least get us um, the the gossip sub. So if there is further delay, then we can we can do that. But I think we can probably wait until the next libp 2 version is is done. Okay. Uh, that is it for the high priority initiatives. Moving on to the other initiatives, um, subdomain gateway. Have no Lidl, no Reba. Uh, there's no. Oh, you did merge the PR and go IPFS for um, uh, wildcard gateways um, so that. Uh, there was a quest, request for people to be able to have, you know, gateways that are named like, you know, my my thing dot username dot, you know, the TLD, um, and so now we have we have support for that. Uh, so the Unix of S, uh, V1.5 and GuidePFS, um, not updated as far as I'm aware. Uh, pinning system revamp, uh, I'm going to merge it like, tomorrow morning um, after doing this uh, point release uh, of JS IPFS. And then it needs, it's like all the, all the uh, PRs that are required to be merged have been merged. Uh, the last thing is just the JS uh, the P2P release, uh, which we've gone over already. Um, DAG service. It's me. Uh, I didn't really have time for it last week, so nothing happened there. Um, the next one is improving web UI file stuff that PR got merged. Um, I'm still working through the progress bar reports. Um, turns out Web UI had it at some point, but it got ripped out. So there's a lot of things that need to happen to get it to work. It was also semi blocked on the progress events that were rejected. And I think now we're gonna put them back in into the HTTP client. Uh, so if they do, that's what they, it will use. If not, then we'll fake it. Uh, I mean the progress. Um, yeah, this is it. Cool. So uh, moving on, uh, design review proposals. Does anybody have a proposal for a bike shared contest? Come on, that's so much fun. Okay, fine. Uh, blockers and asks. Anybody blocked? Um, Alex, if you'll get a chance to review some of the non JS IPFS, like the other libraries that we pull in, uh, yes. there are a bunch of pull requests there, would be really good. Yes, I've been on holiday. I am refreshed uh, oh, and ready to review. Uh, I'll be out most of this week, so I won't have much done on my end. Okay. Any other blockers or asks? Any questions? Anything for the parking lot? Okay. Yes, uh, we've got oh. some. We've got well, just briefly. This is this no, is no, this is a fun one, I guess. Take your time. Fun one, which is uh, once once this release is out for zero point seven. Um, there are a few things that are like definitely going into 0 0.8, um, including the, the pinning service work. But what, what else makes it on there at the top of the list um, is still a little bit up in the air. 
So if you would like to lobby me for your favorite feature, uh, now would be the time. Um, now not meaning this meeting, but over the next week. Only pinning services. Okay, good. If there are no more uh, parking lot items, can we can draw this meeting to a close? Uh, please fill in your async updates um, and let people know what you're going to be working on. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, this has been the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday, the 25th of August, 2020. Stay safe out there. See you on the internet. Bye.